Hey there, today I'm showing what I have bought the past two weeks. Um, right here we have a Bachman Spectrum K4 Pacific. This is my second one that I've bought. Um, this is number 1361. Now I have some special plans for this engine. Um, I actually bought or got custom decals uh, made um, that are one off. They have never been made before that I know of. Um, so I had them custom made. They should be here soon. Um, but once they get here, I'll show you and explain why I had them made. Um, next up, we have an MTH uh, 70 ton Pennsylvania mill gone. Um, this is my first MTH product, and so far I'm pretty impressed with it. I possibly am going to buy another one of these Milgons and then try some of their other stuff. And then right here we have a Roundhouse um, 40 foot boxcar kit that I bought from my local hobby shop and put together. And then quickly I'll just show the new configuration of the layout. So as you can tell, I've added an extra two feet. Um, and I now have a six track rail yard that will hold around 32 or 33 freight cars. Um, I have this big open space now where I'll be able to build a town or mountains. Uh, but now we're gonna run the K4. Now it hasn't been broken in, I just took it out of the box, but we're gonna run it and it may be a little bit loud, I'm not sure. So, let's see. Oh. Got caught up on the switch right there. So far I'm pretty impressed with these Bachman K4s, um, like I said this is my second one. Oh, tender's still off. Um, the other, my second, my other one, uh, 3750 is a little bit quieter than this one, but they run exactly the same. This one's headlight is a little brighter too. And put the tender on all the way. There we go. In a minute, I'm going to put my other K4 on and double head them. I have a feeling I'm probably going to buy at least one more of these Bachman Spectrum K4s. Not the streamlined version, I don't really like those ones, but I will be probably buying another one soon. Um, Alright, so next shot you'll see is the two engines double heading. Now I didn't know this uh, when I filmed my video unbox or showing my first K4, but the 3750 is actually preserved at um, 
the, I think it's the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum. And it's not in the best of shape, it's outside, but it's still around. And the 1361 is being restored um, fully to operation in Altoona right now. So, these are the last two remaining K4s. Um, there are no others that, uh, that are known of, so it's pretty cool to have both of the remaining ones um, in my collection. So yeah, um, some plans for the layout. Um, obviously, some switches are on the way. The switch right here that this K4 is on, that one has been ordered, and this, and then I ordered another one for right here. So both of those will be here hopefully tomorrow. Um, so that'll be nice. Um, back there in that corner underneath the steps, I'm planning on building another table where there'll be a switch somewhere around here um, that'll go back into this area here back there um, to a turntable and roundhouse. Obviously that's an expensive project, so I don't know how long that's gonna take, but that is the plan as of right now. I want a 10 stall roundhouse because I have nine steam engines right now in HO scale. Here are seven of them, and there's the other two. The only one that is not running is this Riverossi 765. This is a major project that has come a long way. It is ready to go. It just needs a new motor. Um, the tender is not the original tender. Same for the um, drawbar, but it's going to be functional. It doesn't look the best right now, but I'm not too worried about details on it. I'd rather get it running first and then work on the details. Um, we have the Roundhouse 442 Atlantic, a Mantua 282 Mikado, a Bachman Spectrum DCC ready, or no, this one came DCC installed, but uh, the decoder ended up burning up. Uh, so I did some custom wiring to it, but this is a Spectrum uh, 280 consolidation. My American Railroads, uh, or Nickel Plate Road 759, Berkshire. This is all original except for the paintwork that I've done to it and some additional details on the front. Up here is my IHC, or Mahano, 482, Nickel Plate Road engine, number 844. Right here is a Roundhouse 260 Old Timers steam engine. Um, this one and the Atlantic both run about the same, pretty slow, but so that, that is my collection of engines, my new engine, and my new rolling stock. So look for a video this weekend probably. Um, it'll be an operating session where I'll be working in the yard. Hopefully the switches will be installed. That's all I'm waiting on right now um, to finish the yard up for now. Um, I also have some other stuff coming um, that isn't really model train related, but it is railroad related, especially Pennsylvania railroad related. So that'll be here soon, I hope. It's been delayed because of the Christmas, um, or the after Christmas or holidays um, shipping, so. Hopefully that'll be here soon, but I hope you enjoyed the video and look for more upcoming. Don't forget to like and subscribe.